This is Piers Morgan here reporting for CNN. We're here at Lafayette College for the fourth and final presidential debate. This debate is certainly crucial in this race. Welcome to Lafayette, gentlemen. This debate will consist of one simple question. Keep in mind, this question may decide the upcoming election. Is artificial intelligence possible? What an excellent question. Of course artificial intelligence is possible. Computers can certainly think. And what proof do you have of machines being able to think? Well, I know that when I use Siri on my iPhone, she answers all my questions. She can obviously think. That made me laugh. That is a statement I don't need fact-checked. You obviously haven't heard of John Searle or have taken intro to philosophy. I remember Brie Kirchner, the philosophy teacher at Lafayette, mentioning him. What does he have to do with any of this? John Searle's Chinese room experiment is crucial in this issue. John Searle created a simple thought experiment that disproves any existence of artificial intelligence. Searle presents a hypothetical scenario. Suppose scientists create a robot that can receive input in Chinese and appropriately respond back in Chinese. Now, Searle then replaces the computer with himself. Searle is given a pencil, paper, and a book that gives the appropriate outputs for any input given to him in Chinese. He is performing the same task as the original computer. Searle is given Chinese characters. After using the book, he writes down the appropriate response. Searle could certainly pass Turing's test. But the real question is, does he truly understand Chinese? Or does he only know how to follow the instructions of the book? Searle says no. In this case, he does not understand Chinese. If he does not understand, he cannot be thinking. If he cannot think, he does not have a mind or is conscious. Searle then states that his own self in the experiment is equal to a computer. In conclusion, as Sir Lin illustrates, a computer cannot understand. Therefore, it cannot have artificial intelligence because it cannot think. It'll only follow the program given. I've just given an example to prove that artificial intelligence cannot exist, thanks to my good pal John Sir Lin and his Chinese room experiment. Well, we are out of time. Thank you gentlemen for this great, insightful debate. I'd also like to thank Justin, Darrell, Pat, and Ryan for making this debate possible. Goodbye, 